Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Everybody knows what today is. Today is Mask It Monday. And for today's mask, I'm going to be using something I did not plan on using today because I'm having a little irritation like right here and right here on my face. And I have no idea why. It just came up. I was going to use a different mask that I'll explain at the end of this video or while I'm talking about this particular mask that I am using today. But this mask is one of the masks I picked up in my haul on Friday. And this is the Raw Shea Butter, the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Mud Mask with Frankincense and Myrrh Extract. So what I'm going to do with this first is I'm going to give it a little bit of a squeeze just to like soften it up a bit in the package. Okay, so I guess it's one of the red. And I'm going to squeeze it down and my cat is bugging me. Go away, Gussie. She won't leave me alone. Okay, so I'm going to open the mask up. I have a pair of scissors here. I thought I would need it, but I don't need it. I'm going to open it and I'm going to give it a little whiff first. The sniff test. Oh, yeah, that is frankincense. You can see it's like a white clay mask because it contains kaolin and bentonite. So, yeah, those are the water, kaolin, and bentonite clays. Three clays. So what I'm going to do is squeeze some of this out. Okay, I think I got some out. I got a lot out. Never mind, I got a lot out. And that's what the mask looks like. So you can see. It's, I don't know if it's coming across on camera the right way, but it's like a light ashen gray. Not really, not really too gray. So... Yeah, for this one, I'm just going to apply it straight on my face and a little bit in my hands. And it's raining again because it's Pennsylvania and it's spring and it's raining every day. And I have a cat here. No cat. Between the two of them, I don't know which one drives me crazier. I don't know. Okay. Now, it says to leave it on for up to 10 minutes. So, I'm just going to go check the clock when I'm done here. And then we can go from there. I think I put a little too much on my hands, but hey, why not? So let me rinse my hands off and I shall be right back. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I rinsed my hands off and you can see the mask on my face. It's okay. All right guys, it's fine. So I wanted to talk about something um, before, you know, I go through the whole process with this mask. What, um, it's a about my face mask alchemy mask now marie is wonderful she always tries to take care of us as the best as she can well for this month's mask it is now somewhere out there floating around have no idea where it is this happened in february and it happened for may now i don't know what happened but in february i got the mask late because I don't know what's going on and for the May mask it's still saying it's in transit somewhere. I honestly do believe that there is some sort of triangle that is in the Pacific Ocean that is sucking up my mask somewhere. So instead of the Bermuda Triangle it's the Dawny Triangle. I don't know for some reason it just it's out there somewhere but I will probably receive it. But in the meantime what I had done is I had ordered her uh, Sweet Marie. Again, so I'll show you what I got. She did send it to me, so this package did arrive. And I'll show you what happened. So, there goes my stuff over there. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to take everything out and show you guys. Because this is the mask I wanted to do today, but I didn't think my face would tolerate it too well. So, Marie was kind enough to send me the usual. So she sent the card, like she usually does. And let me put this down. 
the honey stick and she also sent me a sample a five mil five mil sample half ounce sample yeah half ounce sample with the oil and the directions in there plus the little scoop so you see that guys the sample the scoop I think the oil is right here and it's a little you know pouch and directions right there and I received my sweet Marie in that box so I'm gonna open this up because I want to use this at the end let me open it I didn't open it I thought I had opened it oh well I didn't open it and I'm throwing stuff everywhere here so yeah okay. so it comes like this and it comes in the same type of little pouch the sweet marie there you go i'm going to take this guy out girl i should say girl not guy girl take her out put the pouch over there <clears throat> And there is the Sweet Marie Oil. I really want to use this after this mask because I can feel it tightening a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to let it dry and I'm not going to let it tighten. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, something uh, toner to spritz over top. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to give us a little bit of a pause and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to spritz this on. I'm closer to, to the end, really, with this. It is tight, so I'm going to spritz this and let the mask sit for a few more minutes, and then we can come back. This is, I'm sorry, I didn't let you guys know what I was spritzing my face with. I'm using the Tammy Fender Bulgarian Rose Water. So this is one I think I got in the Detox Mark Market. Yeah, the Detox Market box is where I got this one, along with the um, Epi peel on my face I use it every now and then but let me just put this on give it a little bit make it a little softer and I feel better already so you can see it's just about done I mean it's dry I don't like it to get too dry on my skin and you don't want to leave clay masks on too long if you do you you know you're really risking dehydrating your skin quite a bit okay so what i'm gonna do is i have my washcloth here and i'm going to put hot water on the hot water on the hot water on the washcloth and what i'm going to do is instead of starting to wipe i'm going to put this on my face so it will soften at first so you can put it on and i always try to use older washcloths for my masks so when you soften it it comes off much easier than rubbing it plus i use a lot warmer water by the time i got the washcloth on my face it was no longer hot it was just warm got all of the mask off of my face and what i'm going to do is i'm going to spritz my face again with the bulgarian rose water toner this is one i really don't use a lot i mean it is over halfway gone you can see that but it's not one that i take out regularly and then i'm going to take a few drops of the sweet marie i'm going to give it a shake because it may have separated a bit it shouldn't have but i'll give it a little bit of a whirl and just a little bit on my hand come on there you go there she is look at her Yum, yum. I'm going to rub it in between my hands and just put that on. Oh, that feels so good after that mask. I guess I do my eyes with it as well. My skin is dry. Now, on camera, it looks like my skin is really, really red. It looks to me like it has gone away a bit. Let me turn the light off. Maybe it's the light. No, it's not the light, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I really love this oil. Now I know why Mary loves this oil. 
this oil is really incredible yeah guys so this is mask monday what do you think of the shea moisture hydrating mud mask with frankincense and myrrh extracts i liked it would i use it again maybe i have some left in the pack um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give it to my husband see if he likes it and what he doesn't finish he'll give it back to me and we'll discuss it and talk about it. empties okay guys so take care uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and i will see you all in the next video okay guys bye